What's up, peeps? It's your girl, Queen L. Woo, woo, woo. And today, I'm going to show y'all how I make my curry chicken drumsticks, okay? All right, I got my curry seasoning. It's my curry seasoning powder. Ocho Rios right here. Y'all know I love Malari seasoning salt. I'm going to use minced onion because I don't have my onion powder. I still ain't been to the store to get onion powder, y'all. So, if you have onion powder, use onion powder. If you don't, use minced onion. I got garlic powder, and I got my black pepper. Now I got to get my crock pot out. All right, here's my crock pot. I'm gonna go ahead on and set it on high. All right, you're gonna need a little flour later on to make your gravy, because guess what? Curry is really a gravy. All right, we're gonna put this to the side. All right, I have washed off my chicken. It's still a little hard, because guess what? It's still froze. But when you use a, a crock pot, pot, it don't even matter. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick my chicken in the crock pot. I'm using half of the pack of drumstick chicken. And the other half, once it unthaws, I'm gonna put it in the air fryer. So I'm gonna have half air fried drumsticks, half curry drumsticks. Cause my kids like rice and gravy. And this is gonna be curry chicken. So it's gonna be the rice gravy with the chicken. Okay, now I'm going to put some of my seasoning salt on the chicken. All right, got my seasoning salt on it by Laurie. So I'm going to put my pepper. I'm just coating it with it. Just a coat. My minced onion. Like I said, y'all, if y'all got onion powder, use that. Minced onion, all right, but I mean, I would rather have my onion powder. My garlic powder, just put a coat of it. You know, just, you know, put a whole lot on it. Just put a coat. All right, got that. I got, now I got my curry. All right. Now I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing. So I'm gonna flip my chicken over. Flip it over, flip it over. Okay, now I gotta wash my hand. All right, now I'm picking up my Lowry's, another coat on this side. So I got Lowry's all on it. Put my garlic powder, a coat. Okay, my minced onion. All right, number curry. All right, now see, chicken covered in curry. All right, now I'm ready to put my water in here. All right, I got two cups of water. I'm gonna pour in it. This is two cups. I'm gonna pour it on the side. Not directly on the chicken, but on the side. Which it don't matter if it do get directly on the chicken. It don't matter. All right. Now I got my two cups of water. Got my chicken all seasoned up. And guess what? I'm going to close the lid. And this should be ready in about four hours. But I'm going to check on it in two and a half and show y'all how it looks in two and a half hours. I'm ready to close the lid. I got it on high. If I was cooking this like and had all day to cook it, I would cook it on low. Put it on in the morning. Like around about seven o'clock on low and check on it around 12 or 1 o'clock but because i had a late start it's on high and i'm gonna check on it in two hours okay guys the chicken has been cooking for three hours let's check on it i said two hours but yeah i forgot i forgot so let's look at it all right, looking good, looking good. Okay, we're gonna stir it up a little bit so we can go ahead and make the gravy. Okay. Stir it up some. All right, it's good and hot. All right. Let's get our flour. I 
Okay, I'm going to add three tablespoons of flour. Okay, guys, this is three tablespoons of flour, like three, three and a half. I'm going to put some water with it and then stir it up before I pour it in there. All right, I added some water to it to thin it out so I can get some of the thick pieces out of it before I even pour it in there because I don't want to have to try to mash out the thick pieces. All right. I'm ready to pour it over in there. Okay, then after I pour it, I'm going to stir it up. It's going to thicken. I'm not putting no milk or anything else in here. But y'all see what I'm talking about about the little pieces, this the little clump. It's going to go away, but that's why I was adding water to it so I can kind of stir it up and thin those out. But yeah, it's going to start thickening up. I just stir it up a little bit. Do what you can to get some of the clumps out, like push it up against the wall of the crock pot, like I'm doing. Just pushing it up against the wall of the crock pot. Like I said, this is gonna thicken. Yes, yes. So it has been on for three hours so far. I'm gonna leave it on for at least another hour. Trying to wait a few seconds until the gravy start getting a little thicker. Yeah, I want it to be a little bit more thicker. All right, so I done added it with three, three and a half tablespoons of flour. So I'm gonna add two more. Cause I wanna go on and see my gravy get a little thick now. I don't want to wait, so. Yeah, remember I told y'all that the little pieces was going to go away? See? They going away. Let's add a little bit more flour. Okay, guys, I added two more tablespoons of flour. We're just going to stir it up in there. Like I said, as it sits, it's going to get thicker and thicker. It's going to be a gravy. Y'all see, it's already getting thicker now. So... I used a total of five tablespoons. A total of five tablespoons. See, my kids love rice and gravy. So this right here is going to be good. The chicken, curry chicken, and rice and gravy. So I'm going to go ahead on and put my rice on in a little bit when it comes closer to time to take this out. I'm going to open up. Some green beans, and that's gonna get that a little bit. But yeah, y'all, we're gonna check on it again in another hour, and that'll be a total of four hours. But right now, this is at the three-hour mark. This is at the three-hour mark. They doing everything up there, so y'all hear them yelling and all that stuff. That's what they do. That's what children do. But your head go. Yeah, this curry chicken looks so good to me. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. I'm just getting all the stuff that's on the side down. So if y'all hear scraping, it's me getting the stuff on the side of the crock pot down. All right. It's getting close to being ready. See, it want to fall off the bone a little bit. All right. I'm going to leave it on there another hour. And if my chicken ain't falling off the bone in another hour, I'll leave it on it another hour. Okay, guys, it has been in here a total of four hours. Now check it out. There you go. That's what you want. That's what you want. Your curry chicken. All right, I got some rice, a plate of white rice. I'm going to just put my chicken over it, get some of my gravy, which is curry. Don't that look good, y'all? Mm-mm. 
time to throw down. And then if you got vegetables and stuff, now be the time to put your vegetables on it. Yeah, but okay. Curry chicken. Okay, it was in the crock pot for a total of four hours. I showed y'all the steps. So guess what? Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload my newest videos. Peace out. Mm-mm.